Okay, so <laughs> here I am in my uh, outdoor shower. One of the reasons I like an outdoor shower is not only to wash off everything that comes on, up with you from down the lake with leaves, pine needles, you know, stuff in the water. So we come up and we use the shower a lot just to clean off. <laughs> and plus, it's also, this is the one of the reasons. Look how tall that tree. <laughs> That's, that, I, I think it's a pine tree, but I mean, that's my view when I'm in the shower. If that, and then obviously the sounds of the lake down. <laughs> I'm not, well, you can kind of see it from here. I got my carport thing going, but anyways, that's one of the reasons we like to use an outdoor shower. And it's just something about a shower in the woods. <laughs> okay, so here's what you're gonna need. I use a wet brush. Um, I'm gonna cut my hair, so I'm gonna show you how I cut my hair. So you need scissors, a good old fashioned scrunchie. <laughs> and these are my favorite hair care products. Um, I don't use any shampoo. I Sorry about the shadows. <laughs> um, I don't use any shampoo. I use the no poo method. I just put conditioner on my hair. I haven't sh shampooed my hair in years. I would say at least three years. <laughs> and this is day five of my hair care. Granted, I've been swimming in the lake, so that's why I like all the product is out of my hair by now from swimming in the lake. But I literally just use a no sulfate gentle conditioner. And this one you can get at any grocery store. Um, I've tried every brand of shampoo conditioner and this literally is the only one that my hair likes. So we're gonna go with it. I don't care if it's not high end or, my main thing is I don't want the sulfates and silicones and stuff like that. So you can get this at your local grocery store. Um, I'll put all the links below. If you can't get it, I'll put the Amazon link. And Diva Curl is my favorite hair cream that I'm using right now. I do the curly girl hair method, which means I style my hair in the shower. So after I shampoo my hair, I'm sorry, after I condition my hair or wash my hair, I while my hair is soaking wet, I apply my product. And the whole point of that is because curly hair, um, if you're like me, I have dry, coarse hair. I like to keep that moisture in my hair. Sorry about the wind and like pine needles falling down during the video. But anyways, I like to keep the moisture in my hair. So that you lock it in by styling it while your hair is wet. Plus it helps define all your curls. And that's pretty much been my secret of how I style my hair. So obviously I'm in the shower. We're going to start with a haircut. <laughs> and this is called the unicorn cut. Um, I'm going to wet my hair because it's just easier for me to wet my hair and then cut it because my hair is so unruly. So I'm going to, I'll be right back once this is on and I've got my hair sh uh, conditioned and I'm just going to condition it with this. And I use a lot so maybe I'll show you a quick peek of how much I actually use but I have really long thick hair so I'm going to wash and condition it and um, then I'll be back to where we get to the cutting part. And I cut my hair probably once every six weeks. It's been a while. It just keeps the layers and it's so easy and I could do it myself because I'm so busy that I just can't make time for my hair. I make my time for my food and that stuff, but when it comes to the hair, it's going to take a back seat right now. <laughs> so anyways, here we go.
while my hair is wet, I'm just going to brush it. I brush it with the conditioner in it. It's a unicorn. <laughs> this is why it's called a unicorn cut, I think. But gather all your hair like this so it's right in the middle of your head. And then just to make sure you get the hair all going the right way, brush it out. You see it's already trying to curl. <laughs> so what I do, I just get most of the water out. You can see I'm shedding. So, this keeps it looking all perfectly layered, and I'm going to take about that much off. You don't need a lot. You can do little bits and go a little higher if you want it, um, if you want it different, like if you want it shorter or whatever. But I just take regular household scissors. I'll go about there. And someday, I'm going to buy some real scissors that are for haircuts. Now, just get any spots that you didn't get. There goes. And because I have curly hair, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so now, once you have it at that part, make sure it's nice and flat. Make sure it's even. I see a couple stragglers. Get the stragglers. And then the next thing you do is so that it um, hangs right, you go up. So like this. And this is a, a very important part so it doesn't hang weird. But you gotta do this part. You just snip the bottoms. And that's so it doesn't have like a big flat yucky <laughs> but you want to do this don't forget this part all right and then that's it now it's time to style obviously if I was um if I was in the shower I, I don't cut my hair every time so I would just go right to the styling process but you flip it over and you'll have great layers but I'm gonna re-wet it so it's laying flat <laughs> before I put my product in but then you could double check that your layers and everything are good but it, it cuts the whole hair in layers when you do it like that so <laughs> 
Next, I'm going to put the shower back on, wet it, and then we'll start the styling process. Okay, so now that my hair is soaking wet, I start with the Diva Curl Super Cream um, Define and Control. I'll put all the links to the bottom. But this gives it, it's, this is almost like, it feels like a conditioner to me. But I'll start with five pumps for my long, long hair. If you don't have such long and thick hair like me, you'll use a lot less product. But I have really long and thick curly hair. So I spread it all on my fingers like that. And I just comb it through. And sometimes it, you got to practice with your own curls. Sometimes um, some people can't comb their hair at all or it makes frizz. So you have to figure out what works best for you and your curls because everybody's curls are different. So, but I basically comb it all through with my hands, work it in. And the nice part about being soaking wet, it helps distribute the, um, the product. So, and I, because it's wet and I don't have any trouble brushing my hair when it's wet, some people can't do this step. You know your own curls and if you can or can't do it, but this just helps get it so that everything's coated and it smells so good. This is so weird to be making a hair video. <laughs> I have never done this before, so don't judge. Don't judge me too hard. Um, and no makeup, the whole nine yards, so. <laughs> I must be crazy. So once that's all in my hair, we do step two. Define and control. This gel gives you the hold without the crunch. I don't like crunchy curls. I like soft, bouncy curls. So it's part of the process. Um, but I put, I start off with about that much and I'll come back and touch up where it's needed again. Put it on your hands, spread it, and then work it through. Work it through all over, just gently applying the product. And it's, I just love the smell of it. It's one of the reasons why I, when I found it, I'm like, oh my God, please work, please work. It smells so good. And I'm really picky about the way my hair products and smells, like I don't even wear perfume. I'm just really picky about added fragrances. So, but I'll work it in and there's two ways I'll do this. Um, one of the ways I just do it like this wash and wear But another way you can section it and make sure and like take your hair You know and give it an encouragement on the curl, but then it's so it's really defined curls um, I'm not that motivated <laughs> so If I had more time, maybe I do that but that on a really special occasion I would do that, but I typically don't but I flip my hair upside down and I also make sure style this way and this is why it's good in the shower to do this because it's dripping wet and you'll get it all over your bathroom <laughs> and just a little bit more not that much more and then you listen to the crunch you know you have enough if you can hear a crunch hear that noise because I'm going to towel dry my hair next and any excess product that didn't Get into the hair will come off in the in the microfiber towel. And then that pretty much is it. Now at this point. I'm not, I don't really care so much where my part falls because I like it, my hair to be big and bouncy all over. So, but I'm normally a side part girl and it eventually falls there. <laughs> but let me pull up my hair so you can see how defined the curls are. Uh, my favorite is day two hair. Um, I usually go three to four days without, like between washes. So my favorite is day two hair because it gets a little bit of the volume down. I have so much volume. <laughs> I'm afraid of volume because I've got so much volume. But now I will take 
this microfiber towel. It's by Norwex. If you want one of these, let me know. My sister-in-law sells them, but I love the way it, it takes the moisture out of my hair without giving me frizz. So I've been using this forever. It's what I use. So now that I got my hair with all the product in it and it's soaking wet, I will either leave it in this for our, while I do my makeup and then take it out or I will just put it in there, get the, get the water out and then use a diffuser on my hair like and dry it that way. It all depends on time. Most of the time I'm at home and I just let my hair air dry. So let me show you how this goes on. So you flip your hair over so it's like that you put this part here and then you scoop up all the hair <laughs> and just give it a gentle twist and there's a little hook right here Oop. there and then now I go put my makeup on so <laughs> I'm gonna go dry off and then I'll be back in a few okay so while my hair is drying let's put a little bit of makeup on I only use a couple products okay so Start with the basics. This is Estee Lauder Double Wear. I love it because I am Italian and English and it works great on my skin. <laughs> but I'll just put it like that. And then I'll, oh, I'm gonna grab my little blender. I use one of these makeup blender thingies. And this just takes the redness out of my skin. And I kid you not, this stuff stays on all day long without, because I have a tendency to be greasy because <laughs> I'm Italian, but I redness because of the English. And it really just, it's perfect. I put it on my eyes. So it's a nice dry start. Make sure it's all blended in. But you only need a little bit and it goes a long ways. And you just make sure it's all nice and blended in. And this is like literally my everyday routine. I don't put too much fanciness on. I could make another video for a more fancy day. <laughs> a little bit more of my chin down here. Nice. Make sure it's nice and blended all the way down. And my double chin. And the whole goal is so you don't look like you're wearing any makeup. That's that's like my I like to look natural. So that's why I don't wear much. <laughs> I'm basically trying to enhance what I already have. I'm a busy mom and I don't really have too much time to play with makeup, although I love makeup. So I'll make a fancier <laughs> video later. But this is Sephora and this color is called Peach Beige. It has a little bit of a shimmer, but I just I just love it. I use my fingers because I like the way it covers my eyes. It just gives it a little, I have like hooded eyes. I'll just blend it up. I have hooded eyes, so I like to make my eyelid appear like I have one. <laughs> But that, basically it, give it a little bit more on the actual lid. And then I'll blend a little bit underneath, just to give that little area a little light with whatever I have left on my finger. It's very subtle. And then next, <laughs> I don't remember if you remembered a couple weeks ago I had pink eye and I had to throw away all my makeup but I threw away my favorite Anastasia brow pomade so I have not had a chance to replace it yet so I got this Maybelline tattoo studio for my eye and it has like like brush strokes and I'll just go up and make it look natural 
like the whole mantra because this actually looks I don't like that like stamped look or the over like the caterpillar look I want it to look like hair when it's in your eyebrows so I just follow my natural shape and just help it out because my it's funny because I have blonde hair in the spots that I wish was darker even though my hair and everything everywhere else on my head is dark brown but my eyelashes and my eyebrows are super light so there's the final look <laughs> but I just like it because it makes brush strokes instead of has instead of having like a stamped on look and I just make it look like it's a brow stroke See if I can get them even. I hate uneven eyebrows. <laughs> but follow my natural arch and all that stuff. Plus it kind of like tints a little bit as it goes and it stays on all day. So again, part of my <laughs> mantra is to look natural with like very little effort. Okay, so, and then my favorite mascara right now is called Snapscara by Maybelline. Now, I'm blind, and I'm going to have to get a, a mirror for this part. <laughs> but you can see before, I have very, very blonde. I have really long eyelashes, but they're super blonde. So I like it has a curved brush. And I put a couple coats on and that's literally my routine. So while my hair is drying in this microfiber towel, I do my eyes and my, I put my makeup on. And then I'm gonna finish it with a diffuser, whatever didn't dry already in the towel. And there, there's one coat. Some days I put eyeliner on and all that, but this is my everyday look <laughs> that you see in all my videos. So I thought that's the look I would go for. There's like a gazillion tutorials out there with people that are like makeup artists. A little bit right there. There's one coat. I'll do the other eye. I don't know my my the sun keeps coming out and it's either too bright in here or I need to turn a light on. It doesn't want to make its mind up. Oop, got some on me. I'm like so not good at this. This is my total first makeup tutorial. So don't judge me too bad. There's that. I thought I was going to get all fancy and put eyeliner on and eyeshadow and all that stuff but I was like no I'll just stick my natural everyday look so I'm gonna give it a second coat now on the other eye and you can see how like crazy hey, do you ever pay attention to the funny faces you make when you put mascara on it's so funny like what are you doing <laughs> why do we even do that If I curl my lashes, they look even more, like, defined and all that stuff. But, like I said, this is my everyday look. And that's what we're going with today. If we like these videos, I'll show you more fancy makeup. But I just like the natural look for today.
And by the way, I am still fasting and I'm going to have cheesy eggs and bacon for lunch. So that's my lunch when I'm all done with this. And if you want any of these products, I will put them in, I don't know if you can get um, the Estee Lauder on Amazon, but if, it, if the link is there, if not, I'll just put what it is and what shade I'm using. I have like dark skin with red undertones, so I'm usually farther down on the color chart because my redness makes my skin appear darker than it actually is. And there's the eyes. So, next, let's do, I'll wash my hands real quick, but let's do the hair. And then, so I'll show you what it looks like um, when you take it out of the microfiber towel. good old camp bathroom. <laughs> I forgot to make this look prettier in the background. Sorry. <laughs> you don't see a stinking shower. So anyways, unhook it. Let it all out. And remember, I did a fresh haircut, so I've got, look at that, all curled and defined, no frizz. I've got volume at the root, and you could give it a couple more scrunches you know, if anything got smushed, but I will 90% of the time just let this air dry. But because I'm making a video, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a diffuser. Let me grab that real quick. I don't have any fancy products. I don't even, I probably got this at Walmart. I don't know, it's a Con Air with a diffuser at the tip. <laughs> but I wanna show you if you're going to go for a more defined look, I will, um, I'm going to show you where I diffuse to have the, oops, the least amount of frizz as possible. So, but personally, I like the air dried look the best. <laughs> so, um, okay, so I put it on hot and I put it on medium and I will do the crown of my head first because if you do at the bottom, it's gonna dry faster when you like diffuse it and stuff. about 90% dry. I'm just going to give it a couple scrunches. I'm not afraid of volume because <laughs> I have volume. 
there. And then I let my hair do its own thing when it comes to the part. You can see where it still has a little drying left to do. Um, and I like to just get it to about 90% dry before. Um, I don't feel like I need it 100% dry. I just mess with the pieces that, you know, there might be a few spots you might need to touch up. I'm not really good at the diffuser. <laughs> but anyways, I will go out in some better lighting so you can see. But now you see all the curls and you can see the haircut. It's perfectly, um, let me get it straight so I have the hair on the same sides here. <laughs> I mean, it's not completely dry, but it's nice and even and it looks beautiful. So this is my curly girl hair routine and I use the Diva Curl products, no shampoo. I use the poo method or conditioner only and I did a unicorn cut to get this haircut. Let me give you the look in the back. Um, like I said, it's not 100% dry, but the unicorn cut gives you like some layers where it comes down. I wear my hair in a ponytail a lot. So that's why I like the this particular cut. It makes my ponytail not be so heavy. So when I put it up in a ponytail, it just it, it looks it looks so good in the ponytail. So being that I wear my hair in a ponytail a lot, that's why I do the unicorn cut with my curly hair. So I'll show you the finished product when it's 100% dry. So this next picture will be a completely dry look. So there you have it. Let me know if you like this video. Um, let me know if you want to see more details of anything. Um, I, like I said, I'm not, this is not, this is not my wheelhouse. I've been doing my hair like this forever, but I've never made any, any like beauty videos. So <laughs> I apologize for the, um, the awkwardness. So. <laughs> here's the finished product and here's the finished product a haircut using the unicorn cut and diva curl hair products and no shampoo as you can see there's no no oil <laughs> and then the makeup that I small little makeup routine that I do I should put some lipstick on hold on okay this one's called L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade of Fuchsia Amnesia. <laughs> Whatever that means. I like it though. I'm a big fan of pink right now. <laughs> and there you have it. There's the hair. The ends are just a little bit left to dry and they'll match the poofiness of the top. But there you have it. The curly hair method using Diva Curl hair products and the no poo <laughs> conditioner only shampoo. But you can see I have tons of volume. There's no greasiness. Um, I have bounce without crunch, and that's it. Let me know if you want to see another video like this, like what I do for days two, three, four to like reactivate the curls and how I sleep with the curls. So let me know. Bye.